Hello and welcome to the new mobile app versions 1.11 for iOS and 1.2 for Android. In this session I would like to show you the new features and functionalities of these app versions. So first of all I will log in. As you can see now the Fiori cockpit is loading which is new in SAP Business One 9.1 version for SAP HANA. So this Fiori cockpit is pretty much the same like on the Business One client in Windows. The only difference is that in Windows you have additional widgets like the Workbench widget which cannot be displayed here. But more or less it's pretty much the same like you have on the Business One client in Windows. So what you can do is a long press on the dashboard on the right top five purchased items by purchase amount and if I do a short click on it we can see the amount and if I do a long finger click I get the sub menu so let's do it a bit more in the middle and with this sub menu I have the same action list like in the business one client so, but in Windows you had a right mouse click and in iPad you need to do a long finger press. And now you can see here the actions defined for this dashboard. So I can open the item master data, which I have clicked. All right, and when I press on top on the orange bar, I will get back to the cockpit. And um, if I do a long press again, I can start the enterprise search for this item code. Okay, done. And I can also now choose, for example, a different item, the second one or third one, and say open item monitor. And the item monitor is a self defined advanced dashboard which I have created for this demo purpose here. You can see now the advanced dashboard is loading and it looks like on the business one client with the different tabs. So I can choose, for example, to the sales tab. And the good thing here is that the dashboards are reflecting their values only against the selected item. So if I click on the filter icon on the upper right, you can see that all the dashboards are filtered by this one item here. Okay, and if I click on done, I can also show you that in the dashboards module, there's now a special section just for the advanced dashboards at the bottom of the list. So you can see two different advanced dashboards here. Let's go to the next new enhancement. So you can see in the module list, the delivery now. The delivery sales documents are now available here for viewing the marketing documents. So we can just click on one of the deliveries and see all the details. With this new module, you can now also go to the activities and add a new activity. And if you choose a business partner, We can now link this activity also to a delivery. All right. So the next uh, interesting and powerful feature I would like to show you is the attachment feature which is available for iPad and Android tablets as well as um, the phone devices. And um, we just, for example, go in this case to the sales order module and open a sales order. And on the bottom, you can see here a attachments field. 
And in here you can see different types of attachments. So I have a Excel file here, which I also can zoom in. We have PDF, picture, text file, and a Word document. And we have also the opportunity now in the upper right corner to either add a existing photo or take a photo. So in this case, I will choose a photo from the camera and will now choose one of these. And we'll give it a name. screen and let's we'll save it you can now see that the photo has now been uploaded or attached to the sales order I can open it also from here and I could also now open the business one client and in here I can also go to the sales order and if I go to the attachments I can see also now the screen attachment and if I click on display the attachment will open all right so let's continue with the iPad and the mobile app so as a next enhancement I would like to show you how to synchronize a business partner to the device contacts. This is also new. So if I go to business partners, and I click here on the address contacts tab, and then on the main contact, I can now click in the upper right corner on the sync button and create either a new contact or add to existing contact. Or I can just import a contact from the device address book. So I will go back, click on the edit button here in the upper middle and we'll now click on the main contact, Mary Brown and now click on new contact. And now I can just click on from address book. And now I can import the first one, Bob McKinsley, and say done. And I can also choose him as the default or main contact and say done. And I can save this now. All right, so now let's go to the next enhancement. And that's the, pretty much the last big enhancement here is the sales catalog enhancement. So if I click here on the sales catalog, so we can click in the items category. And if I would now click on the drop down arrow on the right upper screen, you can see all available fields like length, width, height, volume, and weight. And um, also, if you would compare this item with another item, and now go to the compare mode in the upper left corner, you can now see a comparison between both items based on the different fields. So in addition to price, and if you want to change the available fields here, you just go back to the module view. And then you go also on top of the module to the gear icon and go to preferences and then to the sales catalog. And on the fields, we have selected all. We can uncheck this option and now manually choose the fields which should be available like length, width, and height, so no volume and weight. 
and go back and save this. And if you now go back to the sales catalog and back to the items, and if you now see the drop down again, we just have these three fields. And if I compare this with, for example, this item, go to the compare icon in the lower upper left corner. You can only see, in addition to the price, the three selected fields, length, width, and height. And the very last feature I would like to show you is if you go again on the gear icon, the feedback feature or function. And with this, we offer you a quick way to provide feedback to us what you think about the mobile app and what we can improve. So also please use this feature whenever you want to share feedback with us. So with this, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. Enjoy the new features and say bye-bye.